going beyond the illness and treating the whole person is a promise of Loyola and this is also a promise of our department. We build on the Jesuit tradition of excellence in education. We train our pathologists to be compassionate, caring human beings, to understand that although pathology, you would think that we just deal with tests, laboratories, slides, but behind each and every glass slide is a human being. In this department, we believe that research is a very important part of education. I've been working on a research project with Dr. Barkin. We did an 11-year retrospective study of all the atypical urines that were done here at Loyola. And I went through and tracked all those patients to see how many progressed to positive carcinoma diagnosis, either high grade, low grade, um, or positive cytology results. We found that over 11 years we have about an 8% atypia rate of um, specimens that are called atypical diagnoses. With those, we also found that there was a 21% atypia to positive diagnoses during those 11 years here at Loyola. So that's what our study was mostly about. I think mentoring is one of the most rewarding experiences in academia. If you give more education, if they understand that they're actually you are giving more importance to education, they work harder and they become a well-rounded, overall very uh, good pathologist at the end. The research was great for my educational experience here at Loyola School of Medicine. Not only did it help me understand how research is actually developed, but on top of that it also helped me get more exposure to the pathology department to understand more about what pathology is really like and how the day-to-day -day workings of pathology go. For residents participating in our research projects, I think this is an opportunity for them to help formulate a research question as well as to run the experiments in an actual wet lab. Jody Spicer has been part of my lab to take part in research where we were looking at the differential expression of heme oxygenase isoforms in vitiligo patients treated with uh, ultraviolet light. We took nine patient specimens and immunohistochemically double stained them for markers specific for T regulatory cells, namely CD4, CD25, and FOXP3. And we looked at the absolute number of T regulatory cells that were present in these human specimens versus a non-autoimmune inflammatory control. And what we found was that the number of T regulatory cells was statistically significantly reduced in the alopecia areata specimens. This is exciting because it allows us to look at whether there's a functional deficit or just a deficit of T regulatory cells and whether that does play a role in autoimmune alopecia. What excites me about working with residents in the lab is that I get to be a part of their uh, learning experience as well as I get to enjoy their great work ethic and uh, their enthusiasm as they do their work in the lab. At Loyola we train our residents and fellows in all areas of anatomic and uh, clinical pathology. We emphasize in particular critical thinking, effective communication, presentation skills. We realize that these skills are very important to all of us pathologists, regardless of uh, our career path. We are conducting a clinical trial to test the effectiveness and the safety of genetically engineered lymphocytes in cancer patients and specifically these lymphocytes target melanoma and uh, part of what we're doing and what Dr. Hutchins is involved in is to evaluate changes in the tumor molecules that we're targeting before and after the therapy to see if we're having an impact on the disease. We believe collaboration is very important here because medicine is getting more and more specialized. We all have our niches that we're very good at and it's very nice when you get a bunch of people who all have different things that they really excel at and you can bring them together on research projects, on clinical trials and even on daily patient diagnoses. Our research in pathology department is truly multidisciplinary and collaborative and it applies to each and every level. I hope that the pathology department continues to grow and that the pathology residents that become our experimental pathologists of the future will look back on their time at Loyola as a great learning experience.